college hoops tonight. Carl Ravage, Sugar Phelps, we start Iowa State, Texas, Darren Kelly, no. Look out for Maurice Evans. Big night, 10 to Texas, 8 of 10 early in the game. Then frustration for Larry Eustachie. And Digger, you watch Larry Eustachie. It looked as if in the first five minutes, he knew his team was in trouble. He knew they were in trouble, and you know Jamal Tinsley gets in trouble. Without him, they're not a good team. 32 fouls in the first half, 46 free throws. Freddie Williams, Sally Oop, Evans brings it down, then goes right back up with it. They're up 18, second half, 60 to 46. Evans, we've seen him inside, give us some outside activity. 10 of 14, 5 of 6 from deep, 70 to 53. Kelly, whammo. Texas, it's an impressive win, 94-78 over Iowa State. They have won 27 of the last 28 at home. Credit Freddie Williams making that defensive slide to get the charge off of Jamal Tinsley. His fourth with 16 minutes left. Game. Dave Odom's club really in need of a win for their tourney chances to be enhanced. Josh Howard at 11 boards and 14 points and wakes up four. Later in the half, Duke down one. Chris Duhon played 27 minutes, did not shoot terribly well. Didn't take a lot of shots, but when he throws them down like that, it helped 41-40 at the break. Second half, they go inside. And I love the reason why. Carlos Boozer really gets hot in the paint, gets 20 big points, not afraid to look, post well, get it in strong with his presence in the paint. It makes it that much easier on the perimeter. This is the true balance of Duke's offense. 20 points, 13 boards for number four. Just over six minutes to go. Wake still got a four-point lead. Broderick Hicks driving. Good dish. Good reverse layup to Vitoretta. He had 11 4 of 4 shooting. That's a career high. Meantime, Williams, three ball, corner, quick release. 77 74. Duke still trails by three. The next possession, they go back inside. Execution. You got to find a big guy. Reverse it. Watch him slide across the paint. This is in transition where he can dump down low. Again, another two for Boozer. Mm, bad foul. We're tied at 77 after that one goes. Check out the clock. Play continues. The clock stops at 30. We're still dribbling out top. Krzyzewski and the rest of the bench say, hold on, fellas. Now the clock starts rolling, and they keep playing, and Williams had 26 big points. Duke's up three. During the break, the refs say, we need to take five seconds off the clock. They do. 13 to go. Three-point game. O'Kelly. Three ball to tie it. Bang! We're tied at 80. He took seven from behind the arc and hit four of them. Here comes Williams. Finds Duhon. Time runs down. Shot. Good if it goes, and it does. Duke again, nine down, five to go, make the run, 16 to five, and pull it off at the buzzer. He scored only six, hit two of five shots, but it gives Coach K a huge 82-80 win over Wake Forest. They are struggling. How about the Blue Devils over this four-year span, 123 wins, that's an ACC record. It was in Maryland, the last non-conference loss at home for the Terps, 89. Juan Dixon. They weren't giving him the ball when he wanted it in the places he was. He's open. They didn't give it to him. Finally, Dixon throws up a three on his own. Rick. No points in the first half. He was 0 of 3. In the second half, though, those shoes, like those shoes, they make him fly because second half, he takes his whole game right over. Goes hot, hits a three, comes, gets it going. Down. Dixon again, another three. Ugh. Give it back to him again, Mr. Dixon. Three again. How about 23 points in that second half? 52-42, Maryland Wilcox. Pretty pass to a cutting Dixon. Zero in the first half. New shoes, 23 in the second. In fact, they were old shoes. The team got new shoes on Thursday. He tried them and said, forget it. J.R. Raymond didn't play. One game suspension. Broke team rules. That was 18 points a game they missed. Duke needed this win. I mean, Maryland needed this win because they're at Duke next and finish the season at home against Virginia. Yeah, you mentioned the absence of Raymond. The Sooners scored only two points in the first nine minutes. Anyone else thinking Florida may get back to the Final Four? They're playing great ball. So is this man, Udonis Haslam. Gators again without Brent Wright. He's got a bad foot showing their depth. Haslam up and under hoop. Seven points in seven minutes, 17 at the half. Meantime, Rod Grizzard trying to match him. Grizzard, 9 of 17. Count this one in a pretty move. No travel on the play. More from the big fella. Grizzard, flat out nasty. Three of six from deep. He finished with 21. Second half, all Gators thanks to Haslam. Haslam just takes this game over. Big points, 21. Not knowing where it's going. Yes, it's in. 28 big points this game. He had 21 against Mississippi. He's had he's had 49 in the last two games this week. 89-68 behind the big man for Billy Donovan. Florida's won five straight against ranked opponents, a school record. They've won 14 straight regular season games against SEC West foes. In Alabama, one and six in the conference on the road this season.
BC and Providence. Eagles scored a season low 23 in the first half. Meantime, the second half, Xavier single carry. That's the only shot he made. One of 10 from the field. Eagles are up six. Kareem Shabazz missed the second. Tracks down his rebound. And he takes it to the hole. Providence down three. Shabazz 12.7 boards. 21 seconds to go for the Friars. John Linehan penetration. Friars down one. He had 13. 9.9 to go. Eagles up one. Kenny Harley at the free throw line. Misses the second. He missed all four late in the game. Providence, they get the ball back. Five seconds to go. After almost turning it over, we're going to find the ball in the hands of Roman Augustine from 15. Get in. Yeah. Oh, no. And BC, a winner. They clinch a bye in the Big East tournament. They are rebound the Friars. 46 to 31. Tough loss at Notre Dame this week, but they bounced back to sweep Providence. But what impressed me today, BC on the boards, 46 to 31, but 24 offensive rebounds for 25 points. Well, they got a lot of boards because they missed a lot of shots. 19 of 61 from the field. The Hoyas haven't beaten the Orange at home in five years. First half, they're up four, the Hoyas. Kevin Braswell, 14 points, cost a turnover. The loose ball is his. Seven assists. Where's Demetrius Hunter? Braswell, seven assists. Yeah, but Hunter back in that lineup after being hurt. 21 big points today. Here's Keith Dwayne, three ball. He hit both. The rest of the team, three of 14. Orange are up two. Hunter, one of his four threes. He's got a bad Achilles. Didn't show it here. Hoyers are up three. Meantime, Georgetown decides late in the game after not doing what Syracuse doesn't foul him. No, you got to foul him now. You're down. You got to foul, Jimmy. Go get it. Get him on the line. They're a lousy free throw shooting team. They didn't do it. They're still sitting back here on defense and ultimately they took themselves right out of the game. Georgetown drives, ball goes, fans mob the court. They beat Syracuse 72-61. Really the best win of the season for Georgetown. Eshrick says, I can't remember a game I thought was as big as this in terms of the national picture. Well, Syracuse lost last five Big East games, well, especially on the road. They've got pit at home and they were to come to an end. Well, that bad dream became a nightmare. Kirk Haste and Tom Coverdale was on fire, Digger. Coverdale just hitting threes. Another three. Likes get him open. He can score into the paint. Not kick it at Coverdale. Another three. Indiana, 14 threes today. Wisconsin couldn't guard that play in the zone. No, a lot of those were uncontested. Almost 74% from three point land. Coverdale had six of them. He scored 24 points. And guess what? The horror would continue. Indiana is a big winner, 85 55. More points than Wisconsin has given up. In five years, Jared Jeffries, by the way, eight shots, hit them all. Kyle Hornsby hit five threes. It's a payback because they blew that 12-point lead at Wisconsin. Get them at home. They're eight and six. Both teams riding towards those at-large bursts from the Big Ten. Brad Soderberg, a good quote. I can't even remember reading about someone shooting 70%. I don't even mean against Washington. I mean ever. I've never heard of it. Well, for quite a while. First half, Zach Randolph was a man. He missed. Jason Richardson with a follow. They're up five. Penn State down six. Joe Crispin. Driving. He started that spin underneath the basket. He's hot in the first half. He gets 14 big points in the first half, but then that second half, once they tie it at 47, they get up 48, 47, and then Michigan State goes on a 10 zip run. It begins right now. Mm. Seen that before. Bell and Richardson, they're up by nine. They're up by 12. Richardson working the baseline. Pretty fadeaway. It goes. Andre Hudson and Michigan State seniors win their 109th game. 76 to 57. Ohio State Northwestern. We'll talk more about that game in just a sec. First half, Ken Johnson block it. 429th career block. That's a Big Ten record. Tavares Hardy, he one, two, three. Northwestern's down four. Later in the second, Will Dudley. Find a man down low, watch him work with the feet and get a big flush. Ohio State a winner, 69. Auburn Ole Miss, Raheem Lockhart, the alley of Justin Reed with a finish. The freshman originally committed to play at Auburn. He had 21, 9 of 14 shooting. Reed, free throw. Second one good after he missed the first. They're up by two. Final second, still up two. Adam Harrington, oh. Mississippi's a winner, 64-62. Ole Miss needed this when they had that six-game winning streak snapped by Florida the other night. And Auburn 6-8 and eight in conference now. This was the Vincent Yarbrough show, Tennessee and Vandy, and he blew up. Tennessee's up tennis. He goes baseline again here and gets it to work. Yarbrough off the window. More from the guy. 7-7 seven seven today. Really solid with 20 points, 10 rebounds.
They have had trouble winning on the road. This time they get it done. Yarbrough, one more time running again. He hit all six of his free throws. They win it 78 to 70. Tony Harris back in that lineup. They need him. 14 points. He played 32 minutes. He's healthy. Tennessee gets healthy. All right. We move from Tennessee, taking care of Vanderbilt to Georgia, battling South Carolina. Second half of this game, Gamecocks got themselves a three-point lead. Antonio Grant. Good cut on the baseline and elevation with a reverse. He had 14. Moments later, Georgia's down three. D.A. Lane says, not anymore. It was a four-point game at that point. It cuts it to one. Lane, nine points, four of 13 shooting. And Janelle Bradley, under two to go. Three balls. With a man in this mug, Gamecocks going to win it 64 to 56. First half. Casey Jacobson was three of six from the outside. He had 21. Later in the first half, Jason Collins over the Jason big guy. Collins 33 points today. Four or five from deep. Collins slams one down. They're up 53-38. 62% of the field. Just that's why you got layups with Collins in the paint. There's Jerron, the brother, who slammed it only at a dozen. Jason, seven of 12 from the first half he shot. 13 of 14 from the outside goes, oh, man, they just didn't miss. Collins, that career high of 33. He went on a 10-0 run of his own with four minutes to go. They shoot 62%, as Digger pointed out. Washington 0-10 all-time on the road versus number one teams. 21 of the Cardinal 25 wins this season by double digits. UCLA, they're taking on Oregon State. 2.8 to go in regulation, 57 all. Or Watson had 20 points. The inbounds to get Zurich. His shot is short. So we're going to overtime. Gad Zurich did finish with 15. 30 seconds to go in OT. Beavers down 64-60. Jimmy Haywood steps in and cuts the four-point lead to one. He had 14. 11.6 to go. Bruins are up three. Watson the free throw. No. Oregon State gets the board. Adam Matson brings it up. Haywood. Brian Jackson. Three ball to tie it. Good look at it. Mm, almost looked like it was partially blocked, but in any event, UCLA is a winner, 68-265. Watson makes three out of four to ice the game, even though he missed that one. Big win for UCLA and Oregon State. They're 9-2 in overtime games under Lavin, 3-0 this season. They've won 15 of 17 overall. Watson, by the way, played tired. He played all 45 minutes, had 20 points and five assists. And Billy Knight, 16 points. He's been the big guy coming into this lineup, giving them more points. You love Billy Knight. USC and Oregon, first half. Oregon's up one. Luke Riddock. They need this win. They need this win. SC. Frederick Jones. Oregon. Oh. <laughs> They're up big at the half. Under 30 seconds to go in the second half. They're down three. Frederick Jones to the hoop. And it's good. Free throws good. We're going to overtime in this one, too. In overtime, tied at 76. Great game for David Blufenthal. The three ball. He matches career high with 29. They're up three. Brian Scalabrini and... SC gets to win you talked about, Digger. They needed this to stay alive in the Pac-10. They can't fall apart. They're eight and six. Yeah, big weekend coming up. Stanford and Cal going to LA. Trojans pick up just their third win in their last seven. Well, the Ducks have lost 11 of their last 14 after starting the season 10 and one. Here's their resume there. He's at Virginia Tech. First half of this one, Torian Jones drive. No, Ryan Humphrey is there with a the finish. He had 12. Irish are up 17 at the half. Second half, Mr. Murphy. Murphy, double-double again today from the corner. Hits a big three. Not, not, not. He gets a rebound, puts it in. Murphy get not. Don't Murphy. give up on him. Come on, Murph. Yes. 85-61, they clinch the Big East West Division with that win. Miami's at UConn. Albert Mori, one of four seniors on it on the day, along with Saunders, Suleiman Juan, Darrell Woods. Second half, UConn by 20. Mori in transition, bang. UConn's up 23. They lost to Miami by three in January, and Marcus Barnes brings the Canes back. A 21-4 run, pull it within six. But UConn hangs on thanks to Mooring. 19.7 of 12 shooting. He was big. So was Karan Butler, and they win by Marcus Miner. Ooh, pretty spin move, and he gets it to go. Miner had 12. Baylor's down 13 at the break. From the shot to the locker room. Second half, Mizzou by 12. Ricky Paulding, no. Johnny Parker, yes. His only bucket. Still second half. Brian Gorar had a great game. Three pointer with two men in this mug. Nothing but nylon, 6 of 14 from DP at 18. Later in the second half, Clarence Gilbert. Pajanin Soyoye, seven points. Missouri gets his 18th win. They're 4 and 2 without Rush. Yeah, 4 and 2 without Rush, but he may be back this Monday when they go play at Texas. Kansas State, OK State, Tony Atchison, baseline jumper. Uh huh, one of three on the team with 10. They're tied at 45. K State 
by one at the break. Second half under 40 to go. K-State up one. Frederick Johnson, 17 points, eight boards. OK State by one, 52-47. 77-74 Louisville. Yeah, because you foul when you're up three. You foul before they come down and take the three. And this strategy always works. Tries to bank it, misses it, a tie up. Jump ball, possession, whatever. But Louisville won the game because they fouled before they could take the three-point shot. So you're saying don't give them the shot? No, absolutely not. And you saw they had one with about .5 left on the clock to no avail. So it is a Louisville win in triple overtime. And they started to push and shove a little bit, but nothing else transpired after that. When we get and today over Ohio University, men a third straight 20-win season and the MAC East title. It would have been the first regular season basketball title of any kind for the Golden Flashes. Too bad Ohio U did not care. Let's check it out. 5,700 plus at the Memorial Athletic and Convention Center. And Kent jumps out to lead early. Andrew Mitchell, the lay-in and foul. He had 18. Kent up 21-9. Flashes dominate early. Kyra Massey from the corner. He had 10. Ohio comes back. Down 12. Thomas Stevens. Supersized that one at the halftime buzzer, no less. 35-34, Ken at the break. Second half, Brandon Hunter. He puts on a 9-0 run of his own. Yeah, inside, outside for three. He had 33 points in the game. And then Steve Esterkamp, five straight point. Bobcats up 48-37, five minutes into the half. Kent would fight back. Trevor Huffman, three-pointer. Huffman at 14. Ohio, too tough, though. 24 seconds to go. Hunter, one of his 12 rebounds. Ohio wins at 69-63. So it's a huge win for Ohio as they pulled it within one game of the front-running Kent State. Just the type of win that'll stick in the Bobcats' minds come turning time should they be fortunate enough to get that far. Second half, Akron up to Andre Sims, and that's a three field goal. El Grande led all scores with 25 later. Brandon Pardon, a long J of his own. He had 15, Bowling Green down two. Now Bowling Green up two. Len Metal at the two-handed slam. He finished with 20 and nine boards. And then speaking of slam, Keith McLeod, Bowling Green wins 86-78. I loved everybody.